morning, everyone. Uh, Philip here coming to you at Smoky Mountain Back Roads here. At Daily Life in the Smoky. Take a here. slight left turn onto Thorn Grove Pike. Yeah. So we're going to turn on the Thorn Grove Pike this morning. We're going to be heading over to West Knoxville in 3 here. 3.6 miles. Turn. It's another beautiful sunny day today. Supposed to have some clouds coming in. With some spottish showers today and tomorrow, but looks like most of us is gonna stay dry the way it looks. Hope everybody had a good night. Uh, we are, I did upload a video from last night, but it's unlisted right now. Uh, walk around Gatlinburg. It's actually a little, just a little bit over an hour long. Uh, but there was a couple songs in the background that got me a copyright strike, so I had to go in there and mute those sections out. So it'll probably be tomorrow before I can probably get it up. Uh, but the cool thing about it, we did end up seeing a black bear last night in Gatlinburg. So we want to have it at the beginning of the video, and then we got another part of the video at, at the end of it. So you all have to stay tuned to that and see that bear in downtown Gatlinburg anyway. But yeah, I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Hope everybody's healthy and doing good. I want to say I appreciate all of you. Uh, we're getting almost to 8,000 subscribers here now. I have to check and see what we're up to now. It's like we're jumping up like anywhere from... Uh, let me see, see it first real quick. So we're up, we're up to 75, 87 subscribers right now. And by tomorrow morning, we'll be up to, I say over 8,000 subscribers. Uh, but we, yeah, we've been averaging about eight from five to 600 subscribers every day. So we're doing really good. God's blessing us on here. Uh, but we couldn't do it without you guys and wanted to thank you all. Appreciate every one of you, love you guys. I appreciate you guys for watching. Appreciate the ones that have been, been binge watching them too, because I've seen some analytics where some of them have just been binge watching all our videos. So we really love that and appreciate you for it. Uh, and like I said, sometime here we'll have a meetup. If anybody's come to town, just leave a comment. We can just meet up with you. Uh, maybe go out to lunch or dinner or something like that. But yeah, we're out right here on Thorn Grove Pike right now, driving the good old windy road here. But it's a beautiful little road here to take. Takes you up to the back way of the Interstate 40 here. Yeah, they just made it kind of made our evening there when that bear was out there walking around. Naomi was so excited. She wanted to love and kiss it. Give it lovings. The little girl couldn't go to sleep last night, that's all she kept talking about. Now we're over on Western Avenue here on the North Knoxville part here. Got the car fixed on the left. Got an old gas station on the right here, out of business. It's an old gas station, old service station. I like those. And up here, we've got a walking bridge that goes across the road up here. I'm assuming it goes to a community park over here. But yeah, that's a nice old iron bridge. But as you can tell, some of these leaves are starting to get some orange to them, an orange tint. We've got an urgent care over off to the left. Got a big old church up here. 
and they got the Walmart supermarket, neighborhood supermarket. Cumberland Baptist Church is what that was. Wiggles gas station down here is down to 297 with your club card. And if you don't have a club card, it's 304. So the gas is coming down. We got the Auto Zone, Planet Fitness. We got a big carm store right here. That's one of the bigger ones I've seen in a while. up here got the power plant over here got the old storage buildings you can rent the own there tough shed what them prices on them things are so expensive anymore you used to be able to build a garage two car garage for the price of these buildings they don't get me wrong they look really nice I just don't see the price of them things but I guess if you ain't got the money to pay for it all at one time there's a house for rent up there like new double wides for rent. They're only about 30 minutes from Pigeon Forge right there. So maybe look it up on Zillow under Western Avenue. Ball Camp Pike Road, this is where we're heading here. There's actually a nice lake out this way. Can't think of the name of it. But they got Spring Farms I know of. In one mile, the destination is on your left, 7248 Ball Camp Pike. 7248 is where we're heading to today. Not too far down the road. Heard a little farmland out this way. And we got some houses off to the left of us here. But there's plenty of acreage out here. Everybody's got big yards. There's Bradley Lake out here too. It's out this way. Got new homes right here. Spring Lake Farms. Well, that's what I was telling you about. And I'm assuming you turn right here and go there. I'll be in the market next year to buy another house, put ours up for sale. This will be patient, take your time and see what comes up that we really want. I mean, there's nothing wrong with our house, it's a brand new house, but kind of like to get outside of a subdivision. This is where we're at, guys. The destination is on your left. We'll see where 17, the next adventure takes us here. Arrived. Okay, we're over on Smith Road right now in Farragut. We're by Hickory Woods Subdivision.
a lot of little stop signs on these roads over here. So they don't want you going too fast. They want you to stop. And Dover Place. Pretty nice subdivision there on the right there. Got some nice city sidewalks here that just got done. As you can see, those leaves are turned brown on some of them, orange. Grass is starting to die out because of no rain. Going through a drought right now. At the next stop sign, turn left. I'm gonna miss them leaves though when they fall off them trees. Like I said, the only good thing about leaves off the trees, you can see a lot more in the Smoky Mountains, up in the mountains there. So At the stop sign, turn left the onto Everett Road. Wildlife. Turn left onto Everett Road. In half a mile, There's turn right church. onto Union Road. Almost like a little community park there. We got some nice walking paths on this side of the road. Pretty wide for bikes and walking. It's nice when you're able to get out and walk. Or even if you got a wheelchair or a little Turn right, right by, onto Union Road. You can get on, drive around a little bit, enjoy looking around. And the ones you're not able to get out and drive around, this is what I'm here for. Trying to bring it to you. In a quarter mile, at the roundabout, take the second exit onto Union Road. A little narrow road up here. Narrow bridge ahead. That's what I need to get over. I need to get, get a video of that bridge there in Sevierville. A covered bridge. Been here for a year now and I ain't even been over it yet. But we're always busy doing something. Always trying to think ways to make videos till you get off the road. Take man. the second exit onto Union Road. That took me out there. Didn't say thank you or sorry or nothing there. In a quarter mile, turn right like onto Saddle some Ridge Drive. Lots over here for sale. I'm gonna start building some homes on it. Starting to fall a little bit in these yards. Turn, 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 turn right on onto Saddle Ridge, Ridge Drive. Looks like they got a community tennis court and swimming pool playground up there. In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto High Oak Road. Yeah, these trees are getting a little bare already. Got some nice homes back in here, though. Nice big homes. Not to drive too fast, that way y'all can see you a little bit. In half a mile, turn right onto High Oak Road. I 
like I said, a lot of stop signs. Don't want you going too fast on these side roads, I guess. Kids out playing. these colors, these brick combs are about the same color. There's one a little different up there. Turn right on... I-275 South. Hopefully that sun's not ricocheting in the window too bad on you guys. Driving downtown Knoxville actually isn't too bad at all. Like some cities, it's, it's kind of some kind of big headache. It's actually not too bad. Make us back to merge onto I-40. One of the easiest downtowns to drive around in. You can make ball up there at the world's fair state park. Left to merge onto I-40 East Port Asheville. Right two 
for an iPod? Well, I went in there and checked out their freezer. There at the Bristol downtown. I hate to say what I've seen on all the floors in there. You wouldn't think it. But I actually, I got videos of some kind of worms crawling all over the floor and maggots crawling all over the floor. All I can think is like, I'll never eat in there. But yeah, it's the Bristol on Gay Street, so. If anybody needs proof, I got proof of my video from my camera. It's kind of disgusting. I don't know what kind of what little worms it was. But man, it's just crawling everywhere. Like, ugh. Use the right two lanes to keep right. Food, Nashville, I don't think but so. Maggots, but there's a little water than maggots, but there's just zigzagging everywhere. But yeah, talk about food and see that. No, 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 don't want it. Keep running. Well, it makes me worry about a lot of restaurants. But you can find them sometimes. No, I was working up in Indiana up there. I was in my Chinese restaurants up there. I went in there and there was chickens, like cold chickens laying in the floor. And there was always cockroaches in there. So it's, it's hard for me to eat Chinese food. And I like it, but it's hard for me to eat. I really gotta know the place before I eat it. Most of my Mexican restaurants I've been into and worked in, all those have been really clean. And the majority of restaurants I do work in are super, super clean. In 3.4 miles, take exit 393 to merge onto I 640 West toward Lexington. Rain moving through. If it sticks together anyway, it keeps it drying up. But we've got some good strong winds coming our way and got black pretty quick, so hopefully, we can get some rain out of this. We're right our own courts and road right now. We're heading towards Kodak. So we're on some back country roads now. Everybody's doing great today. Thank you for watching our videos, too. So yeah, leave a like and subscribe to us. Leave us a comment. We'll try to bring what you guys want to see to you. Uh, I know this year right here is kind of hard on me. I do a lot, a lot of different things. Try to keep it kind of basic right now, uh, but starting in February, I can start doing a lot more, and then we'll also bring you Orlando. We usually go to Orlando in February and March, so we can bring some Orlando videos too, and Southern Florida Beach videos. There's an old Firestone tire place. Now we do go home for Christmas up in Indiana, Thanksgiving. Uh, our kids are pretty open-minded. They love video streaming and all that stuff. So I'll leave it up to you guys if you want a few videos of our Thanksgiving and our Christmas party. Uh, just let me know. You got enough say box on out there to say do it. I'll do it. But we do have a birthday party. Uh, our little 
granddaughter's birthday party. Uh, it, it's on there in our library. And just about all of our kids are on that one. There's a couple of them missing, I think, but most of them are on there. And our grandkids. But uh, Thanksgiving and Christmas will just be us and the kids. But we do have dinner plans for Thanksgiving Day because we won't be in Indiana for Thanksgiving Day. So we do have a meal set up at the Apple Barn for Thanksgiving. Instead of us cooking, that's what we're going to do on Thanksgiving Day is go to the Apple Barn at 4 o'clock and have our turkey meal. At the next stop sign, turn left. That'll be our first time trying that out other than eating at home. I think it'll be pretty neat doing that. Yeah, the only thing about going to Indiana on Thanksgiving, we miss out on Black Friday shopping. We used to enjoy doing Black Friday. But honestly, since COVID hits, like all that stuff's been screwed up. At the stop sign, turn left onto Washington Pike. But we used to enjoy that when we was younger, getting out, get up at three o'clock in the morning and getting in stores and getting coffee and hot chocolate. It was good fun times. I know it needs to rain, but I kind of hope it right holds off. I'd like to go do something here in a few minutes when I get home. Get out and shoot us another video for today. Like I said, I've got that hour long video coming up with the bears in it there in Gatlinburg. I just got the copyright out of the way. I'm trying to redo the copyrights because you know how that music is in the background. I think they're a little bit too picky on that kind of stuff. Especially if the business is playing music, I mean, just let it go, you know? It's In different if we're playing music. Right onto Circle Road. First time I've seen clouds in about three weeks. Circle Road. Sorry, I'm kind of quiet. I'm kind of looking at the radar to see if anything's coming through. There are a lot of leaves there on the road. In 2.1 miles, turn right onto Rutledge Pike. Oh, man. Looks like I ain't going to get out. I guess we'll probably end up eating at home tonight, maybe. We don't need it home much. We used to get out this spot every day and eat somewhere. Usually cheaper on us. Probably want to walk 
go down there in the window as my sponge to keep my camera steady. <laughs> Five miles. Turn right onto Douglas Dam Road. Right now we're on Old Douglas Dam. It's kind of breezy. The storms are trying to blow in. Can't get anything out of it. Soaking rain then, since I'm not gonna get out, we're gonna have meat loaf tonight, some deviled eggs. My favorite, one of my favorite meals, besides messy. I can eat tacos, things like that all the time. Taco salads, enchilada burritos. Those are all fixed right anyway, and clean. So this road here brings you all the way into Kodak and Spearville here. Which will turn on the actual Douglas Dam up here. As long as you're on old Douglas Dam and let it turn in Douglas Dam, you're good.
That's why we need the rain too, because if not, you have it all dry on. All this is going to do is just dry the leaves up and the going to fall before the colors kick in. Usually we'll get our droughts in the summer or not in the fall like this. And in the winter all you get is a bunch of soaking rain. Gloomy days. Ugh. Don't like them gloomy days. I don't mind it when it's 95 or 100 degrees, all that cloud cover feels good. Something people don't get. But honestly, I'd rather have it hot so I can sweat. It's good for your body, it helps your body and burn more calories that way. Stop sign, turn right. Thirteen minutes, Food City. Starting route to Food City. At the next stop sign, turn left. Nice little areas out here. Man, a lot of leaves are that a lot of fall leaves. So I'm saying this time next week, I, I think there's going to be a lot of fall colors going on. At the stop sign, turn left onto Asheville Highway. sitting there. Very little house. Tiny home. In three quarters of a mile, turn right onto Snyder Road. Snyder Road. Onto Snyder Road. This is the one I need. There's a out there to Kodak. The them leaves just blowing across the road. I believe fall's beginning pretty quick. In 4.5 miles, make a U turn. Make a U turn. Sorry if this video is going to be too long for y'all. Whoa, slow down there. Too fast for that curve. Bales of hay. Brown bales. <laughs> Put that in a bowl of milk and have you some wheat cereal. Huh? Oh, that's bumpy. Now we're on smooth road. Get here for fall, y'all better get ready to load up because the mountains are calling. The mountains are calling. Smoky mountain rain keeps on a falling, keeps on a calling. Her name, she's 
somewhere in the smoky mob, right? I'm sorry guys, sometimes I just pop song up out of nowhere and just sing it. I sing it kind of goofy most of the time. Take it down in the soft Dirty lovers in her ear Lay you down and softly The thing a woman loves to hear I'll let you know how much it means It's having me around Let my wind start to steam up It's kind of dusty out here now Oh man Naturally. There's a dust storm here from a rock truck. So there's a bump up here. So if y'all ever want to know what's on the other side of the exit 407, the road leads to this right here is where it goes. Nothing. Farmland. Country land. I might as well just keep you on here until I get to Food City. Gotta go pick up our prescriptions. Maybe some root burr. And some small cokes in a bottle, glass bottle. I like those little small cokes in a glass bottle. Well, I can't kind of pop in those old glass bottles. Especially the Mexican ones where they use real sugar in them. That's back when pop used to taste real good. Back when the Coca-Cola was Coca-Cola. Here we are, our own. Right, 407 is. Up here by Bucky's. Bass Pro. You got the Old Tennessee Distillery Company right here. Bucky's off in the distance. So we're going to turn all that land back there into a casino and must be like a hundred different shops back there and restaurants. Kind of like the island, but bigger. Must be something like Branson has down there in Branson Land. I don't know if they started on any of that yet. I know I think they're building a motel back there right now. If I had to guess, I'd say uh, Hilton or something like that. It's going to be something nice. Pay attention now if you get used to this road right here. There's all the seats hanging, driving on the opposite side of the interstate there. There's where you turn to go into Bucky's, and it's not that bad right there right now. The weekends are really bad. The pressure rallies, checkers. There's actually checkers here. The only thing I don't like about that, rallies there, they don't have chili. Up in Indiana, we had rallies, we almost got chili there. Their chili's actually good. Personal stovers. We go there for Christmas. Get Christmas presents there. The 
one mile. There's your Jeep dealership. You got plenty of Jeeps in stock, guys. There's your RV. A&L RV sales. Margaritaville, large parties welcome. Never, hardly ever screw up. So we use this Burger King a lot. Turn here. right into the parking lot. And then we got a pizza hut back here. A shopping place back here. And there's a Mexican restaurant Turn back here. Turn left into the parking lot. Mexican is good. Just don't get anything with ground beef. Go to the in parking it. lot for your destination. Because the ground beef tastes so bad. It tastes like there's brake cleaner or something in it. So if you get anything to eat but just chicken or something else besides ground beef. Alright, we hit our destination. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Until next time, God bless every one of you and give us a like, comment, and subscribe.